Vanessa De Leon, interior designer. I specialize in residential and restaurant design. I've designed and built projects in Minnesota, Ohio, Texas, Florida, literally all over the country. My name is Brian Vrinas. I've been in the restaurant business my whole life. And I love it every day. I met Bobby's bathroom before I met Bobby, which is really weird, right? Yeah. This contractor was like, Vanessa, can you come over to this house? I need a lot of help with this house. Uh, you, it was you like love with... at first sight. Yeah, it was, or... but she kind of came to me I first. didn't come to you. Um, he thought he was all suave, like Mr. Cool no, Freak guy. No. Yeah. Oh, and then he goes, he goes, I know who you are. I have your book on my coffee table. He so, said, I uh, have your book on my coffee table. So as a gift, my yeah, contractor gave me. He had my me... book on yeah. his coffee table. a child of Greek immigrant parents. They, of course, owned a diner, and I grew up in it. And I did go to law school, and my dad, he uh, never wanted me to go into the restaurant business. But my master plan was to take a one-year leave of absence from my law firm practice, get the business up and running, and go back to my law profession. I realized that that was my passion, and uh, I never left. My grandparents came here in the 60s. It was when the revolution happened in Cuba very similar to Bobby's parents. But my grandfather, he opened up several furniture stores. My dad never had a son, but he sort of treated me like the son. So he's like, well, this you're gonna take over the business. Next. But I hated, hated, hated selling furniture. But I did it, and I, and I worked there, and it put me through college. I was studying fashion at FIT, and when I graduated, I ended up taking over as far as like all the design is concerned. And then I decided to buy my dad out of the business. I did it all by myself. I worked really hard. I think we, we share the yeah, same. Yeah, absolutely. Um, his dad's really hard on him, and my dad was really hard on me. For me to say, okay, dad, this is it. Like, I can't work with you. You're impossible. Let me take over. And then we worked something out financially, and it worked for your dad and you. I think it's like an ego thing. He was like, it was like a carrot. He's like, here you go, son. And even when I came back, even though it's kind of what my passion was, there was still that friction. Bobby is great at experimenting. His menu is massive. He wants to like do these infused butter, customer service, and everybody loves Bobby. When they walk in there, they're always looking for Bobby. He's always That's like, true. I don't, you don't appreciate what I do. And he has no idea. Bobby's out on the floor. He's in the back of the line. Up like he's like out. literally valeting cars while he's expoing at the same time with his apron. It's bananas. You pay attention to detail and his dad really does it. Even though it's not a high end restaurant, he has like the little sliver of orange on top of the pancake. You Instagram it, you'll see like tons and tons and tons of pages of it. So Vanessa, it's fascinating to me how you can take like four walls and somehow convert them into like this tremendous space. He doesn't even understand like the severity of my like genius. You know what I mean? So when I came up with the idea of his juice bar being upside down, he thought I was crazy. And that is the most talked about juice bar. I'm kind of like a closet designer. Cause I and love I am an amazing chef. Yeah, but, babe. But you don't know nothing about the kitchen. That's fine, but operations even outside, I give my two cents and then, oh, it's pretty accurate. No, 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 not bad. At the end of the day, I do help her a lot with some of the ideas and some of the, the interior design aspects. She really is talented. She really is. Thank you, thank you, buddy. <laughs> He's so sweet. Jury City was doing exceptionally well. Where we felt like we were ready to open up another restaurant. We were looking at a lot of different locations. Of all places in Edgewater, there was always this restaurant, and it happened to be right next to where uh, we are dry cleaners. Our dry cleaners. Yeah. So I told my wife, I said, you know, there's this place, nothing's ever done well there. All of the places that were in this, this cursed location all happened to be these crazy mm -hmm. sort of high-end concepts. Tons. Steakhouse, hibachi, no, nothing Italian, ever worked out. nothing. Uh, they had like a hundred pasta dishes. I mean, how many Italian restaurants were on that strip alone? There was yeah. no breakfast joint in that vicinity at all. Hello, but Nothing. I knew whatever he would do would be successful. So we played and tweaked a million times yeah. over. Yeah, It takes off like out of the game. Both are breaking records. It's a high-end diner, but not bougie. But they had a pizza oven and I'm like, and Bobby's old, like, like, an old Bobby's like oh yeah, I'm gonna take that down. I'm like, there's no way you're gonna take that down. So I convinced him. Yes. Yes. His dad comes in there. Oh, pizza! You're not a pizza parlor. You're not Italian. What are you doing? Like so close-minded. But we do a lot of breakfast pizza. You know, whole fried red bellis potatoes, Wisconsin cheddar, some chopped sausage, two sunny side up eggs on top. Y your dad loves so it. It goes like every day for pizza. But it's like his favorite thing now. The great thing about family restaurants. 
father, son, brother, sister. If you get it right, it doesn't get better. You know, it's hard enough running a restaurant because it's a family. You're dealing with people with different generations. Forget it. It becomes very difficult. I always have an interest in keeping the family together because that sort of mom and pop, that sort of legacy it sort of restaurant. It doesn't exist. It hardly exists. Once they start going away, it's hard. The legacy goes away. That being said, there's just some families that aren't meant to stay together. Yeah. And in that case, you move on. Yeah. You get cut somebody your losses, else. Cut your losses. You know, get some fresh blood in there. Yeah. You start, you know, Make you start some money. fresh. <clears throat> I really try to minimize the amount of time my wife spends at the restaurant. It's just something that we're adding to our relationship. Mind it's, you, he wants me there all the time. We need to help me out once in a while. I do occasionally. Well, a lot of times. Yeah, but ultimately it always helps that there was already a food business in there. Because if I could use, let's say, 10 or 20% of my budget, that I would otherwise have to spend on infrastructure, on something else. That just gives you more uh, chances of success. It just needs a little, like, love. Yeah. Really, it's what it is, it's love. Yeah. I have, as my wife knows, 10 different amazing ideas for food. And I'm like time. designing all of them in my head and coming Which up is, with yeah. these names and like the concept and the branding. But that's what's great about life, right? That's what's great, growth. So I do what I do, she does what she does, and we come together we have passion and love for what we do. And, and we, for each other, honey. Yes, and for each other. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that was cute. And, uh, <laughs>